Hello and welcome back to the Mighty Alien 101 TV. Uh, today I am here back in World of Tanks. This is going to be another garage review video. Uh, as my previous videos have been quite popular, compared to my other uploads of course. <laughs> and um, today we're doing the T-28, the Tier 8 American tank destroyer, non-turreted. The, the turreted one is the T-28 prototype. And this is the non turreted one that is very flat. Uh, so today I'll be going over this. I absolutely love this tank, and I probably this probably came, became my favourite tank today. Definitely, most definitely my favourite tier eight. I rage sold both of my other tier eights, IS three and KV four, whilst trying to grind for the top guns and not being able to pen anything. But that's for another time. <laughs> Uh, the T28, I absolutely love. It's my first ever tier 8 tank destroyer, uh, and I love it to bits. This, I, I liked it even without the top gun. If we if we have a look here, the stock gun is awful. You shouldn't even be using that. You should always, when you get the T25 AT, get the 105mm before you go for the T28. Uh, this is the um, 90mm is actually the one on the Jackson just with an increased rate of fire on the T28. So, you do not want that at all. Um, what you do want is the 105mm, which is the one from T25 AT, if we actually have a look here. So, this has exactly the same stats, apart from 6.59 rate of fire, rounds per minute, and this has 7.79, so a better rate of fire there. And then you get this beast of a top gun. Tier 10, 120mm, AT gun, T-53. 400 average damage, 248 average penetration, with a 6.59 rounds per minute. Just just to, in case you don't know what that actually means, like I do, uh, of, I have a vague gauge of things, but I've got 100% crew, no ammo upgrades, I don't have uh, vents or anything. Uh, I have about an 8 second reload, and that makes the damage per minute Absolutely awesome! And 2,637! Beast! Uh, so you can really tear apart your enemies with this top gun. The insane rate of fire mixed with the alpha damage just gives you the ultimate death cannon. Uh, so, yeah, that's the gun. <laughs> Went a bit overboard there. Uh, the top radio, I, I only got that uh, after I got everything else. Uh, mainly because I was getting so much XP with the top gun as soon as I got it that I then got the radio. Uh, I sorry, I then got the uh, engine, then the radio. So uh, I believe you do need the tracks before you can get the top gun. So bear that in mind. You will need to get the fourteen thousand six hundred XP before getting the fifty before getting to the fifty one kxp grind. Now I didn't use any free XP for that, and for me. I mean, if you see my stats, about they're really not that good, and I would usually free XP something like this, knowing me. But this time I didn't. I didn't free XP the Top Gun at all. I didn't use a single bit of gold to transfer free XP over. I ground, grinded, ground that 51k XP uh, off completely with the T28, with that gun, and the top tracks. Uh, so once I got the top gun, I then got the engine and then the uh, radio, just why not? Because I believe that, yep, it's the same one on the T95. It's obviously not the same one on the C123. But, um, so yeah, that's the order that I would get things. Please bear in mind that uh, you will definitely need the tracks before you get the top gun. I hate it when I uh, grind quite a large amount of XP to get a top gun or turret. And then I realised I need the tracks, so yeah. Just bear that in mind. Um, let's have a look at my ammo loadout. I have loaded mostly AP, because the penetration is already awesome. But, just for those maybe tier 10s, I've loaded 3 APCR, just for those game-changing moments that you really need to make your shots count. Got some HE shells, just for artillery and general light tanks, maybe. I don't know, I I've only used about 2, I think. Uh, that was on artillery, just to be able to get that extra bit of damage. Um, 
Now, equipment, I suppose, I just got with small repair kit, manual fire extinguisher, and small first aid kit. You really do need the manual fire extinguisher. If you're in a game with artillery, for, first of all, you shouldn't aim to be hit by artillery in the first place, but if you find yourself in a game with artillery, and one hits you on the top of your tank, you are going to be set on fire. It's a no-brainer, you're going to be set on fire. So get a, get a manual fire extinguisher, or a gold one, if you really can't, if you really want to save as much health as you can, so that's that. Now let's go over the armor. We can see here that I'm not exactly sure about the frontal, but I know that these parts here, I suppose you could call them the cheeks, is where the 254 millimeters are. Uh, the gun mantlet I think is 100% impenetrable. Nothing in the game can penetrate the gun mantlet. I don't think, but I mean, just look how thick that gun mantlet is. That is insane. Uh, weak spots on the front, if you're coming up against one of these, aim at the cupolas here. They are quite angled, as you can see, they're obviously circular, so make sure you hit it dead on if you want that. And also, if you have, I think it's about 200mm of penetration, you can penetrate this little um, bar of armour here at the bottom, where my lovely clan emblem is on. Um, and that's a lot less armour than he is. Uh, maybe you can get the lower plate? I'm not really sure, I've never tried to. But, I mean, this thing is so flat that you're going to be shooting down at an sort of angle like that, so... Like that. So, um... Don't aim for the lower plate unless you know that it can penetrate. Um, uh, side armour. Uh, if you're shooting at this from the side, shoot at either these parts... Don't shoot at the tracks, the tracks can absorb sh so many shots. If you're going to shoot at the tracks anyway, Make sure you hit the drive wheels, as that will go through, track them, and damage them. So that's very handy. Uh, the rear... Don't aim at this bit. <laughs> I don't really want to tell you this, because so many pe I've felt so many shots when people have come up behind me and shot at this. And it's been hilarious, the amount of shots I've bounced off of here. If you angle your rear like that, you will bounce a lot of shots. <laughs> And I absolutely love that, even though it's only got 50 millimeters of side and rear armor. But it is so troll because of the angles. So please don't shoot at this part when you're battling a T28. It is just embarrassing when you bounce. Make sure you put one solid shot right into the backside of this tank, and you are guaranteed to damage it. Uh, so where are the components? Uh, I only know one. Um, and that's the engine, and that is here, I think, because I've been shot in the front here, and my engine has been knocked out, so, yeah. The, obviously, if you get hit on the top, then, uh, by SPGs, then you are dead. There's only 30 millimeters of, uh, armor on the top, so bear that in mind, artillery will want to hunt you down, especially ones with good, um, with, with good shot arc, I think that's what it's called, like, the good where the, the shots about to practically loop over to hit that, like, square on. They, if they hit your frontal armour, they'll only do splash damage, like HE, uh, explosive damage. So that's the armour. Um, basically, just keep on moving in this tank. If you, if you stop and there's artillery, you are dead. Only stop to aim your shots. The gun is, in my experience, very trollish. So um, just make sure you stop, aim, fire, keep on moving. That's the rule in this tank. It's stop, fire, move. So um, yeah, I absolutely love this tank. Uh, for I suppose for equipment, I'd recommend uh, vents, uh, gun rammer, and then you have the choice between if you want to play this campy, then go for camo net or binos, or if you want to play it like up close and personal. Then I'd probably either go with Enhanced Gun Lane Drive or Toolbox, I suppose. But would be very useful. But we'll go on to the crew skills, which will help you with that. So yeah, that's what I'd recommend. Uh, if you want to camp, I suppose you could also have an Enhanced Gun Lane Drive as well. That would be very useful. Uh, now the crew skills. Uh, I haven't actually got 100% of my crew skills yet, obviously. As you can see here. Uh, but I... I was a bit split on this. First I went all repairs, then I... Pardon me, I'm very sorry about that, guys. Um, first I went all repairs, but then I wanted to play this tank rather campy with the with the uh, 105mm. 
because obviously it doesn't have very good alpha damage, it doesn't have very good penetration. I wanted to stay back so uh, I can make every shot ca count without being under threat of being flanked or whatnot. So then I went half with camo, but when I get 100% on my commander, I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get the uh, sixth sense because I play this a lot more aggressively now. And there's those moments that I play, I still play this tank, and I think I really do with sixth sense right now. It really helped me. Uh, second crew skill: either go all uh, repairs if you haven't already, or go all camo if you want to play it campy. Third crew skill, whatever you want really, um, whatever suits your playstyle. Um, I mean, if we have a look at the gunner crew skills, I suppose you could go for dead eye, uh, armor maybe, if you find that your gun's being damaged a lot. Designated target if you're playing sniper. Snapshot, pff, I don't really see the point of that in the T28. Uh, driver, I suppose this would really help um, for me, so I'll probably get this as my second or third crew skill. Uh, for reduces ground resistance when driving on soft and moderately soft ter terrain. Um, Prove accuracy when firing on the move, that would be very useful. Uh, vehicle rotation speed also. It will um, help, It will well at least it will increase slightly your chances of not being circled by heavies. I mean, you may be able to prevent that, but if a mediums, if mediums or lights are, f are circling you, you have no chance unless you have any friends around you that can support you. So just bear that in mind, also, yeah, I suppose you might as well get um, preventative maintenance. That would actually be really useful, seeing as your engine gets knocked out a lot in this tank, and you get set on fire a lot. So I'd s that's for the crew skills, guys. Uh, now let's go on to the hit points. I've been doing this different because I don't know why I was attracted by the gun so much that I just sort of went crazy. Uh, hit points, 1,150. Now, this is a quite a nice pool of hit points obviously not as good as the heavies at the same tier but with this much armor you don't intend to be taking much damage anyway because you're going to be bouncing most of your shots i mean if you go up against competent players even they can bounce shots off of you because they miss uh, they underestimate your armor i've come up against players who've played 20k games and are still bouncing off of me when they ease and i know they have enough pen to pen this plate so yeah, that hit point pool is quite nice. Uh, you can take quite a few hits. I I, I can take uh, quite a few hits from artillery, actually. I've seen most artillery do not one-shot me, unless they're obviously tier 10. And if they're a batch at RT tier 10. Because once you get shot and you're tracked, expect another shot five seconds later. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I've got a really bad throat today. Uh, now, the speed is where this is really let down. 18 kilometers per hour. I believe this is either the second or the third slowest tank in the game. Or it might even be the fourth. Uh, I think the first being the T95, which is the tier 9 that I have not yet unlocked, with the horrible top speed of 13 kilometers per hour. I know. I, I, I know. Trust me, I know. So, uh, and then second, I think, is either the FCM 36 Pack 40, uh, the tier 3 premium that I used to own until I rage sold it. Um, anyway, uh, and then you've got the TOG 2, either third or fourth, depending on where this one lies. Uh, traverse speed, yeah, it's alright. I mean, for the weight, it's alright. The tracks, they do a good job. 20, 20, blah, blah, sorry. <laughs> 20 degrees per second. It allows for some rotation, but it's not. It's definitely not pacey, but it's definitely not the slowest in the game. I, I'm saying that, it probably is, but never mind. Uh, obviously, the hull armor we've gone over. Standard shell damage we've gone over. Standard blah blah blah. Rate we've gone over. Gun traverse speed. Yeah, that's alright. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter, because it's not turreted. Um, view range, now, only 370 meters. This is where it lets it down if you want to play this as, as an assault tank. Or, or if you want to play it campy, actually, because if you're on your own and you're camping in a bush, you need good view range. So that's when, if you're camping, that's when I recommend to get binos, because this view range does let you down sometimes. Uh, and when you need to spot enemies that are 400 meters away, uh, then it does let you down a bit. Signal range is beast with the top radio, so it's not really required to have the top radio, but it's nice to have. 
I got camo on this. Uh, I think I only got 30 day. Um, yeah, 30 day. Uh, when I played this campy, obviously, that's why I got camo. So, um, I, I only bought camo because I want to play it campy. But also, it does give you that f plus 5%. Uh, camo rating. I think that also means when you're moving. I'm not sure. Don't don't uh, put my name to that. But um, I think it does. So uh, I've had a monster game this morning. Uh, actually, no, sorry, it was this afternoon. I actually, I've got a little story for you guys. I actually got into the War Thunder Ground Forces beta test. But my laptop, being the troll pile of useless scrap metal that it is cannot run it and I get a DirectX 9 runtime error every single time I run it went through all the different different rendering video stuff I tried to render in win XP mode and I got the blue screen of death so that went well uh, <laughs> please last out please test out my friend laptop we've got to we've got more YouTube videos to record so um yeah, I then rage quit War Thunder and went on to World of Tanks for the first time in about a week because I've been playing a lot of Elder Scrolls Online recently. Um, so I came onto this, I was like, oh, let's play a T28 game. And I got the Radley Walters medal. My first ever Radley Walters medal was in this beast of a tank. And boy, was it a good game. 8 kills, 5,500 damage done. I could have done a lot more. I did dunk quite a few shots, actually. I can't show it to you guys. Uh, I'll upload it to the website. I'll put the link in the description for you guys. But I can't record it because it would just be way too laggy. I'm really sorry, guys. But it'd just be way too laggy for you guys to watch. So, yeah, I have gotten two Top Guns in this. Uh, it doesn't... Yeah, Epic. One Radley Walters, one Spartan. It's not surprising. Uh, and one confederate. See, all these medals you can get in this tank, it's it's quite flexible, I'd say, in the fact that you can play it... Oh, pardon me, God, I'm so sorry about this. Um, that you can play this as a sniper, or a very aggressive role, because you have the armor and the health pool to, to play it aggressively, but you also have the awesome gun and the DPM to be able to snipe and really deal the damage on the enemy. Got Reaper, well, three vehicles in a row anyway, uh, that was just from me trolling in that last game I just played. <coughs> oh, so sorry, guys. Jeez, I really got to get this. Get my throat working. So, yeah, you can really have monster games in this beast of a tank. If you can play this right, you, boy, can you have good games. That Radley Walters medal. First ever Radley Walters medal I've got. And it's in my T28. The fourth or third slowest tank in the game. And I got a Radley Walters medal. I, I didn't even camp. I played this very aggressively in that game. And boy was it fun. So I, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Uh, if you want to get the T28. By all means go get it. And take my um, take my tips into consideration. Uh, and I hope you absolutely dominate your enemy. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you want to um, request any tank. Uh, for me to do next, I'll quickly show you the tech trees of tanks I actually own. Uh, let's not do Chinese, that's just embarrassing. <laughs> French? No. Just, no. Um, German? Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> so these are all the tanks I have. You can pause it and check. It's very laggy, I'm very sorry guys, when I record I have mega lags. So these are all the tanks I own. Um, the ones I've unlocked, I'll happily do re reviews on them for you. Uh, the British... You want to move. There we go. And the Americans. Oh, the Americans. And the Russians. I won't do the tier 8 guys because I can't play them to save my life. I'm really sorry, but I really can't play them to save my life. Um, so, yeah. And the Japanese, if you really want. I mean, all I've got is the Keho at tier 4, but... Uh, so if you want to, if you want you to review any of those tanks, please put in the comments. If you like this video, please put a thumbs up. It really encourages me to do more videos. If you want to see more of these videos? Please click subscribe to see more of these World of Tanks garage reviews and some other gaming videos from me and the other Sam. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Goodbye.